Who the hell are you? You must be Patrick. What the hell are you doing coming out of Robin's bedroom? I was just taking a shower. That doesn't make me feel any better. Okay. Oh, you two met. Robin, why the hell is there a half-naked man coming out of your bedroom? Sorry about that. This is Jagger. What's a Jagger? That's my name. That's my shirt. It's okay. I said he could borrow it. Because? Because he's our guest. Patrick, this is Jagger, my incredibly dear old friend. He's Stone's older brother. Oh. Hey. Nice to meet you. You too. I heard so much about you. Uh, I'm sorry if I scared you. A bit. No, no, no. It's all right. I just, you know, I'm glad it wasn't a burglar or something. I wouldn't have to mess you up. You know, that burglar in a towel? Anyway. Anyway, so I came home last night, and guess who was waiting for me at the door? Jagger. I couldn't believe it. I mean, how long has it been? 10, 15? It's been 13 years since I left Port Charles. Yeah, that's so what brings you back. Well, I had a meeting in Albany, and I thought I'd stop by. What do you do? He's an FBI agent. Mm. Figured I couldn't stop by without uh, reconnecting with my old friends. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of myths about this place, you know. Mm. Well, get settled, because you and I have a lot to catch up on. Okay. I brought breakfast. Oh, wait a minute. Did you do this? No, that was me. Really? Well, don't think it's going to get you out of the doghouse. Of course not. You come over here, you're probably very hungry. There is some bagels, croissants, and coffee. Do you drink coffee? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, well, I'll let you two catch up. I got some work to do in the bedroom anyway, so... Uh, uh, listen, it was nice meeting you at Texas yeah. for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you also. <laughs> oh, Dude, I think... Put some pants on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You. Oh, thanks. Well, you seem perky today. Mm. You know what? I decided things can't possibly get any worse. Uh-oh. Famous last words. No, I'm serious. I mean, what else is there? I am completely exhausted. I have no clue what I'm doing. Our attending hates me. He doesn't hate you. He just doesn't know how to express his love. And the chief of staff basically... Oh, no, the former chief of staff basically died in my arms. Ouch. All in the first three days. Yeah, that's the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Nothing we haven't all seen before? I wouldn't say I've seen anything like this before. Yeah, they warned me about you. Don't believe them. Dr. Leo Julian, I don't think we've formally met. Are you the official welcome wagon? At your service. So what brings you to GH? Aside from the handsome physicians. That was it, actually. Is there more? Much more. I'm, uh, here to pilot a program in holistic medicine. Ah. Uh, so you're hawking your potions and spells. No. Holistic medicine. I'll be integrating alternative therapies into our practice. Acupuncture. Ayurveda, energy healing. Which is why you're giving my interns all that crap about mind-body medicine, yeah? <sighs> Get with the times, doctor. Mind-body medicine has become a critical component of patient care. Yeah. Maybe in some ashram in Mongolia. Or maybe right here in GH. Look, you can believe whatever you want, but in the future, I don't appreciate the way you spoke to me in front of my interns. It's not the way we treat doctors around here. And what about the way you treated Mrs. Shelby? Who's Miss Shelby? Mrs. Shelby is my patient. The woman who's been struggling to breathe for the last five days. You walked in there and started with your battery of questions without saying hello to her or asking her how she felt or even if you had the permission to barge into her room like that. <laughs> my concern isn't how I treat the doctors in this hospital. My concern is how I treat the patients. You know, San Francisco is an amazing town, full of life and culture. I hear it's beautiful. It is. <laughs> you know, Karen and I really felt at home out there. I'm so sorry about her death. That must have been really hard on you. It was. And even after the divorce, uh, 
I still loved her. Oh, yeah. That's what first love is like. It doesn't really go away. <laughs> like me and Stone. Oh, you guys still at it. Patrick, I want to thank you for letting me steal your girlfriend for the whole day. <laughs> no worries. Just don't get used to it. All right, well, I'm off to work. I gotta run some tests on that girl that crashed into the ER. The drunk driver? More like sober driver. Can't figure out why she lost control. What are your plans? Oh, I'm just gonna hang out with Jagger for a bit and probably head to bed early. Oh, you will? Yeah, I could use the rest. You were right. I was. Hmm, okay. Well then, Jagger, if I don't see you before you leave, nice meeting you. You too. And, uh... I'll see you next time you're here. Hopefully with more clothes on. I'll work on that. And you, I'll see you when I get home. Absolutely. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Ah! Thank God he's gone. Okay, you don't mind just entertaining yourself a bit while I get ready, do you? Where are you going? I'm going to work. Oh, wait, I, I thought that you were gonna... Oh, please, that was the only way that I could get him out of here before he handcuffed me to the coffee table. If he really thinks that I'm gonna roll over that easy, he's more clueless than I thought. You're amazing. Well, thank you. Now, if you excuse me, I must get ready for battle. You're watching Night Shift on Subnet. Thursday. Make a wish? Love is in the air. I already got it. And everyone is living it up. Can I buy your credit card, baby? When's your credit card waving goodbye? Until a change threatens their way of life. My impression is you're a bunch of lazy bastards. Now tempers flare. <laughs> and someone's world. If make it to lunch, it's because I got traded. Will be changed forever. MVP, Thursday at 11.